there's a lot of bad things about winter, don't get me wrong, like it is freezing cold outside, there's snow everywhere, and I think worst of all, it's dark for like 16 and a half hours a day. But I think a lot of that is made up for by how just incredible the sunrises have been this past week. I mean like, check this out. <laughs> What is up? I hope all of you guys are doing great today. I am freaking patchworked out. Let's take a moment to address this. Okay, so I bought this awesome new hoodie yesterday and I really wanted to wear it. And then it's actually sort of a nice day outside, so I didn't want to wear my heavy winter jacket, so I wore this winter jacket. It's not really a winter jacket, it's a jacket though. They're both patchwork, and I look, this is a little bit excessive, isn't it? It's a fashion though. Whatever, I'm nothing if not colorful today and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm here with Jean-Luc today. How are you doing okay. Jean-Luc? We're going to Livestock for one reason and one reason only and it is because Jean-Luc is with me which means I can get an extra raffle ticket and an extra chance of getting the off-white Air Force ones. Which... Well it's mine if I win, so. <laughs> can I at least make a video of them? Yes. Okay yeah. good. Yeah I'm vlogging. What's up dude? Honestly, as long as I can check them out in a video, I'm happy. I'm not gonna win. There's literally a 0% chance of me winning because for whatever reason, I've never won a livestock raffle ever. As always guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. That being said, it's freezing. Let's get into livestock. All right, I got my raffle ticket. Jean-Luc has his raffle ticket. We're not, we're not gonna win this. I feel like everyone in Winnipeg has entered this because they're gonna go for so much money. Oh boy. Oh boy, I don't know what these are. We need to discuss these. What the heck is this? It has like the element react like see-through upper, which is dope, I, I like that. What is this midsole Nike? Nike, Nike, I love you guys. Why do you do this to me? I don't want to insult your shoes, but this, this needs to be insulted. This is just, this is not an attractive pair of sneakers. Okay, I have no idea what these are, but I actually sort of dig this pair of Pumas. I normally, do not like these weird futuristic looking pumas that they make but these are pretty cool i just really like the colors in this orange and red and oh it's a hot it's, it's a, hot, a wheels. hot wheels collab <laughs> i used to have a hot wheels track that i put on my basement stairs like all the way down and there'd be a loop to loop at the bottom and i put all my cars down it and see which ones could go the farthest <laughs> this is this is nostalgia right here hot wheels yeah. puma collab is that yeah, one hot wheels too one. they have yeah. the blue one too the blue one just found that out so random yeah. i mean i'm not gonna buy them but cool Yo, they also have this sick Jordan shirt. Check that out. If that is not a really, really dope shirt, I don't know what it is. I mean, this face is so big that it's focusing on Jordan's face instead of my face. This is sick. I wouldn't wear it out and about, but I mean, going to the gym? Pretty cool t-shirt. Okay, I just found out we have like 45 minutes to enter this raffle until it closes, so I need to get back to my laptop, fill this out. I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. Raffle ticket filled out. We are good. I, I seriously really hope I win these. Even if Jean-Luc wins these, I will be happy on a side note. How freaking sick is this hoodie? I picked this up yesterday when we were at the mall buying the pair of shoes that I bought yesterday. Oh my goodness, look how dope this thing is. I love this. And we did a little bit of an impromptu photo shoot with these. We were walking back and there's these two new big office buildings. Well, actually one office building, one apartment building that got built. And it's a really cool clashing of the two buildings. It's, it's a really nice looking background. So I was like, you know what, let's do a quick little photo shoot. And my man Jean-Luc killed it. I don't know how well you can see that, but this photo looks freaking amazing. I'm gonna be posting this on my Instagram, at Tom Stefanik. Make sure to go follow me, check it out. And if you leave a comment on the picture that you came from the video, I will really appreciate you guys. I'll like all your comments and all that good stuff, but woo, good job Jean-Luc, you killed this picture. And whoever made this hoodie, I have absolutely no idea who made this hoodie, but you killed this. And like, look at the amount of patchwork on it. It is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Now, that being said, I saw on Friday night's Instagram that they got in a pair of shoes that I've been hunting for ever since they came out. I think we need to go check these things out. Goodness, Eric. I'm so excited. Why? How are these here? 
I've been looking for a pair of these for, I don't know, I guess they've only been out for a week, but I've been looking for a pair of these for a week. I finally have a pair in hand. Sadly, these are, what size are these? These are size 10.5. Why aren't they size 12? Riddle me this. How come you can get a pair of Union LA's and a pair of off-white Chicago's, but you can't get a pair of Spider-Man ones? Because I didn't win the raffle. Mainly. Most, mostly just because I didn't win the raffle. These things are so nice though. So I know absolutely nothing about Spider-Man, uh, but I mean, these are clearly a very Spider-Man-esque shoe. I'm not gonna call these the Spider-Verse ones, though these are officially, from now on, known only and exclusively as the Tobey Maguire ones because that's the only Spider-Man I've ever seen, and that's the only Spider-Man I care to see because Tobey Maguire is the greatest actor of our generation. Right? These are seriously really, really cool though. I mean, it's essentially a dollar store version of the Chicago Jordan 1, and I have the Chicago Jordan 1, so I'm not all that upset that I couldn't get these, but I still really wanted to check these out. I mean, it's a sick pair of shoes. The leather is nicer than the Chicago Jordan 1. I have to say that. The white leather on these is really nice. And then the red leather, eh, it's okay. There's polka dots printed all over it. It looks like ostrich skin. You know how ostriches have all those little bumps where the feathers are? Looks sort of like ostrich skin, but besides that, it's like a Chicago colorway, except there's blue on the tongue, and then there's the icy blue bottom, which is probably my biggest problem with this shoe. It's just gonna get so messy, and so dirty, and so gross, especially if you wear it in Winnipeg, where there's salt and snow and mud everywhere. But otherwise, I really, really like this pair of shoes. I need to pick up a pair. Eric, when you, when you get a size 12, yeah. You have my phone number. As long as you call them the Andrew Garfield ones, because that's the only Spider-Man. To Toby Tobey Maguire about. ones. Nah, man. Tobey Maguire. I don't even know who Andrew Garfield is. Bro, the amazing Spider-Man one yeah, and two. I haven't seen it. Tobey Maguire ones. I don't know. I really do like them, though. If I was able to get them for retail, I definitely would have bought them. I'm just not sure if I want to pay resale for a Spider-Man themed pair of sneakers. Pete! You're, you're a massive Spider-Man fan. I am. What do you think of these? By the way, Pete is actually like a massive Spider-Man fan. Yeah, I dressed up as him at the Jets game and stuff. This tells me nothing about it being related to Spider-Man at all. But it's red, white, and blue. So are a bunch of other shoes. But these are the Tobey Maguire ones. <laughs> I prefer the Andrew Garfield ones. What? <laughs> That's what Eric said. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> all right, Eric. Later. Have a good one. Can you hit this? Yep. Okay, not bad. <laughs> So unfortunately not my size in those Tobey Maguire Jordan 1s, but still we're able to take a look at them. I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. Are they the Tobey Maguire ones or the Andrew Garfield Jordan 1s? Let me know please. We need to solve this right now. I cannot have division between my comment section. You guys need to let me know. Are they the Kobe Maguire, Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield? I don't know why I was thinking of Kobe. But I mean, he is pretty amazing, and the shoes are pretty amazing as well. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate every single one of you. We, we had a beautiful sunset this morning, and it is looking to be a beautiful sunset as well right now. It's coming off the mirror in my bedroom and through the window, and it just looks so beautiful. And I'm in such a good mood, and it's Christmas in a week, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. I truly do appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Stay positive. Enjoy whatever you're up to today. And make sure to tune in tomorrow. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss anything. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, peace.